second largest fixed cost they pay. First is rent. Two is the property tax. How many more small businesses? How many entrepreneurs can we draw to Pennsylvania and generate jobs? But even further, I know the legislators know this. And how many of you know what a KOZ is? Oh, I'm surprised. Okay, good for you. I don't, don't really get that kind of show of hands. KOZ is Keystone Opportunity Zone. Targeted tax abatement to attract business to an area. We allow our government, whether it's local, statewide, to pick and choose who gets the KOZ benefits to try to attract them. Cabela's in Hamburg, 10 year abatement on property taxes. It drew them in, it's generated a lot of business, it worked. Now, on the flip side of that, EA Games, located in Chester County about 15 years ago, EA Games is a software developer. They got a 10 year tax abatement to move into Chester County. Look it up if you don't believe me. 10 years to the day. The abatement ran out, and there went EA Games up. <laughs> now, if we're willing to pick and choose winners with, pro with targeted property tax abatements, why not make the whole state a KOZ? Make the state so business friendly that people want to come here and generate jobs and build our economy. And that's the second thing, generate jobs for Pennsylvania. Create a massive stimulus. Of the $12.9 billion, in, in local school property taxes. Ten of that comes from Homestead Farmstead. The other 2.9 is business. Your property taxes are eliminated. What are you going to do with that money? You're going to save some. You're going to pay down bills. You're going to spend some. Which, by the way, spending some of it also generates more sales tax. But the fact is, you're putting $10 billion back into Pennsylvania's economy every year. In Washington, they borrow money for stimulus. This doesn't cost us a penny. And we, let's homeowners spend that money the way they will. Yeah, some of it's going to go back in income tax, some of it's going to go back in sales tax. Of course. But by and large, you are going to have most of that money to spend as you wish. What a huge boost to the economy. Increase personal wealth. Value your home is going to go up immediately. But at the same time, you're going to be able to save some of that money to give yourself a better future. And finally, stop the cost of the reassessments. This doesn't completely end it because it still leaves in place the county and municipal taxes. That must be dealt with separately. There's no way to take care of it in a single piece of legislation. But this is the biggest, by far, portion of the property tax you pay. The county and municipal is about 30% of your bill, 70% is roughly the school property tax. We get this done, we go for the rest of it. $10 million for a county wide reassessment on average. End it. And the assessment system and all the stupidity that goes with it. <laughs> now, this is the point of the whole thing, and I'm glad all of you came out tonight. I'm really gratified with this turnout. I've heard people say to me, I hope that they'll do something about it. Meaning the people in Harrison. That's the day. They're not going to do anything about it without our help. This is a grassroots effort, and we need everybody to get behind it. And what I'm asking of you tonight is, if you agree with what you've heard, tell everyone you know about it. Tell them to let their legislators know, this is what you want done, and you want it done now. <laughs> you have to mobilize as many people as possible. I'll take questions in a second, sir. We have to mobilize as many people as possible to get behind this and let the legislators know that this is your number one priority. We know we've had an effect. We know we've made inroads. We just have to be able to build that base of support. Where the bills stand right now.